Hello everybody, this is Shannon from Monkey Art Creations. I am so happy to be back. Today what I'm doing um, is making a, as you see there, I am showing you guys the canvas, which I believe is a 12 by 12 um, square canvas that I, go, I am going to do some painting with the Artist Loft Premix Paints, and I'll show you all the colors here in just a little bit. With this little guy here that you see, that's from Etsy. I bought someone made with their 3D printer. It pours out in those sections, so I can imagine in there all different ways, and depending on how you put your paint in there and everything, that it's going to turn out wonderful. So I just wanted to kind of give an overview of everything here because the sound is really low. I want to apologize for that's the color turquoise that I'm showing you there. Um, I want to apologize for the static in the background when you watch this video. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but hopefully it sounds better now with me recording. Um, but anyways, there's the turquoise. It took me a minute to find the color there. Um, the next one is silver. It's the magnetic, or excuse me, metallic silver. The next one I believe is a blue, bright blue. And... See, the next one is black. The next one, I believe, is white, metallic white. And the next one that I have, I believe, is crimson. Yes. I end up putting all these colors into that little 3D uh, printer guy there. My little mixed up cut there. Not sure exactly what I'm saying to you there. But here in a minute, I'm going to take my voiceover. Oh, I, I was talking about how I'm going to use my regular Artist Loft Mixed Flow Trawl and uh, the Flow Trawl and the uh, paint and water that I mix. So here I am just starting with white. I'm going to go ahead and let you go to the video as I've made it. I think the sound is just a little bit louder and better where you can hear it from here. That way you can watch me uh, putting the colors in and listen to the different things that I say. Um, one thing I do want to remind everyone, please keep in mind that the whole time I'm doing this, this is in memory of my daughter, Chelsea Renee, who um, is in heaven now, um, has been, well, her birthday is coming up on October 13th, but she passed away April 3rd. So this coming up April 3rd, she will be gone two years. And it, it's, it's really hard, but just painting, when I paint, it just makes it so much easier. Um, and I just want to let anyone know that, you know, if you paint, that try this painting. Get in touch with me. If you have any questions about anything, I can help you. And this painting really helps with anxiety on all different levels. Whether it be you've lost someone in your life or you need to grieve and have a way to kind of get away from that and, you know, use your imagination and just go into creativity land. Um, or, you know, just to have something extra to do to keep your mind off things, whatever the reason may be. Whether it's the loss of someone or just anxiety in your life and stress in your life that you want to get away from. This is definitely one wonderful way to do it. I was looking and looking and I finally come across this one day on YouTube and pretty much taught myself how to do it. I have a lot more to learn, but I love sharing with you guys my journey of how I get better over time and all the different things that I do. So let me get, let you get to the video. Basically, all I'm doing here is pulling the paints in. Um, one last thing, make sure you please do, uh, if you like, like the video, uh, give me, um, share it with all of your friends, and also subscribe so that you can see other videos later on if you um, wish to. That would be a wonderful thing for me because that will help grow my grow my uh, YouTube channel and get more people to uh, see. I really just want to get out there a way that is fun in a way that you can get over your anxiety and your grieving and things like that and just teach people how to enjoy the, the loveliness of this. 
But anyways, let me get you to the regular video and enjoy. It does cut off at the end. It will go over to an area where I, I talk and I say that I, uh, unfortunately, you know, I missed the video to snap, but my video did come up after I deleted a few other videos. So the video is here, but at the end, I'm going to play that second video um, over at the end because it I've got to have a chance to zoom in and everything because my phone had stopped and I didn't get to do that. Anyways, again, like I said, I'm going to let you get to the video. Here you go and enjoy. outside as a kid and it, it was just really lovely for me and anyways right here I'm still adding my paint and getting to the point to where I'm getting ready to pour so we'll look at this here for a minute it looks like I'm adding turquoise and all the things all of them and then after that I believe I top it off with white so I'm not sure let's see I'm gonna stop there and then I get everything set and put my my flow extender or my puddle paint there in the middle and it's just the flow acrylic white that I put in the middle and get ready to pour it out I believe there's a little bit of blue on the on there there we go sorry guys the video of this part of it was really bad so I'm just gonna do the voiceover and some music here and there. Don't mind my arms. They're, that's psoriasis. And of course I pick at it so it makes it a lot worse. Which is never a good thing to do. And definitely not a recommendation. But I just don't. Can't help it. Here I am pouring it out. Um, just turning the you know, turntable or the the cake turner. <laughs> as, as we go. Uh, I have no really big rhyme or reason of how I'm doing this. I'm just kind of slowly just zigzagging in the colors and just pouring it out through in there. So we're doing like a little bit of a travel pour. Um, just no rhyme or reason, like I said, to this. So I'm going to play some music here again. Let you guys just enjoy the pouring. And here in a little bit, I'll spin it out. And you'll see um, me at the end. It'll show you where I spin it out, and then it'll go into that video that shows um, how I have done the video. And it was obviously in that video, I thought that I didn't have this video of the tutorial, so keep that in mind. But that's the only video I have to show you a close-up of it. So I went ahead and added it on here. But enjoy the rest of the video. I'm going to play out some music. I may jump in and speak. I may not. But enjoy the rest of the video. Here you go. I'm going to play some more music throughout it. And we'll see. I may say hello. Or we may just play it out with music. And at the end you'll see the video of that. Of the close ups and everything. Please enjoy the rest of the video. And don't forget to subscribe. And always remember this is for anyone to learn. And remember my daughter Chelsea and pray for, for her in heaven and for all of her family here on earth to have peace in the best that we can. But enjoy the painting most of all. Thanks for watching.
Okay, right here, guys, you see me smearing out the white uh, flow acrylic. It's Artist Loft flow acrylic white. Um, and I've got it already mixed up with flow chalk and water. So what I'm doing is just putting it around the edges. A little messy, but. <laughs> and I forgot to get my uh, spatula, my silicone spatula that I spread it out with. So I just spread whatever was close in the popsicle sticks. Not the, it worked. It worked. I mean, it's, like I said, you can make this a very expensive habit, or you can make this a very inexpensive habit. So using a popsicle stick obviously works. So this is just going to help my paint flow out when I go to spin it. So let me go find some music to add on to the video, and you guys can continue watching and get to see the spin out here in just a second with the music playing one moment. Enjoy the watching. Thank you. And again, thank you very much for watching. But 
It's okay. Um, I'm trying to soak it so you don't get it to rest out. But I'm not supposed to use hot water on these because the guy that I get it from, got it from made it in a 3D printer. So you got to be really careful with these. But anyways, they're really nice. You've got them on Etsy if you want one of those. But what I've done was I have this on a cake turner. I don't really want to lift it up, but there's a little cake turner under there that just a little tiny round one that I got maybe 10 inch round, I would say 8 inch, 10 inch round that I got at uh, Michael's. But here's some painting that I ended up doing. And what I done was put a float, put a flow extender on it and just kind of just poured this paint just all over out of this guy in the ways that it come out. So it's really made some really neat designs all over it because then I just took and spun it and spun it out and I mean I could spin it now but the paint's pretty dry so it's probably not going to do much of anything right now but it was doing a lot. It, it covered the whole thing rather than pouring it out. I spun it out and it done its own thing so it's really awesome. As you can see here, all the pretty colors. Let me turn this light off and see if you can see it better. There you go. Look at that sparkle from the silver that's in that. I can't wait to do this with more colors. But there you go, guys. I kind of like it, I think. Possibly this way. Because you see the stripes kind of going across. But there it is, guys. I like it. Hopefully you like it too. And it was just my first time playing around even doing the pour with the spinning on the lazy scissor or a cake turner and also with these artist lost paints. So it was just playing around and with this cup. So it was my first time with all that. And my first video in a very long time, but didn't get to get one that was a tutorial that I would have put on Facebook, but I mean excuse me, on YouTube on my monkey art creations, but here we go, you guys can see this here. So there you are, use those things. Thank you guys very much. I will be doing some of these that I will put on my YouTube and have a good tutorial video of. But I just wanted you to see this painting and how it turned out. My first one. They will get better. Thank you for watching, guys. And remember, this is always in the memory of my sweet daughter, Chelsea. And it helps a lot. It really does. Have a great day. Smile and paint.